What's going on guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS bringing you yet another brand new video. We have a lot to get into. We got some awesome attacks to show you guys uh, in this video. Doing things a little bit differently, breaking the rules over here in Forbidden. I got to clear the air on a couple things. Uh, I got hit up by a lot of people asking kind of the same question. So I, I, I will get to that. Uh, we'll go ahead and start off with some Town Hall 9 action. Just to give you guys a quick background, the war we're looking at is Forbidden versus Art of War. This was the potluck matchup from over the weekend. So I'm glad I got to get... I'm glad I got to record these attacks before the replays wiped. Uh, we'll go ahead and start off down here at the bottom, guys. Uh, I won't be recapping all of this attack. We do have Sheik of Dubai doing a TDH. So I definitely want to get this one out to you guys. Let me know if this is it's this is Sheik of Dubai. I'm not sure if that's the same as the Prince of Dubai out of War Wills. But anyway, huge shout out to him. Um, a lot of people asked me after... I did the the CWL, the message to the CWL admin video. A lot of people have been messaging me asking if I'm still going to be uploading onto YouTube, you know, if I'm still going to be making videos. If you're watching this, you probably know the answer. The answer to that question is yes. The videos I will not be doing are the league recaps. Remember, I was doing the league recaps for Premiere for the CWL. Uh, so those are the videos I won't be doing. I'll still be uploading. Trust me, guys. Whether the CWL is around or not, this channel will still be here. Uh, we we're playing this game before the CWL, and I'll be playing it well after. So I just want to clear the air on that. I will still be making videos, just not the league recaps. Um, for those of you wondering what is going on, why is Riggs in uh, Forbidden? Um, and we know Forbidden and FYSB are both family. I got a Town Hall 9 over an FYSB. Riggs, are you leaving Fortune Steel? A lot of people have been asking me that. The answer is no, I am not leaving uh, Fortune Steel. I'm still a co-leader there. I have my quote unquote, you know, my main account there, uh, my Town Hall 10 uh, that, I, that I play on in all the wars and all the CBL wars, all the arranged wars. So I am still there. Uh, I just. For, Fortune Steel's Town Hall 9s have been doing very, very well. And, you know, I just have this Town Hall 9 that is just kind of just floating around. I'd be in clan, out of clan, uh, just kind of bounce around. But I wanted to give it a home. Um, so I went ahead and joined. I did a lot. You, have to, you guys have to understand, I have built relationships with a lot of clans from Premier. Why? Because I was doing uh, the league recaps. I was visiting these clans week in and week out making these recaps. Uh, so I did establish a relationship with uh, FYSB and Forbidden. Ironically, they're both uh, family clans now. Um, so yeah, so now I am over here in Forbidden on my Town Hall 9. Uh, where I will be doing CWL on my Town Hall 9. And what's even What's more beautiful is I can bring you guys more content. Uh, I'll be doing the Premier matches and all the F FFS action over in Premier. Um, for our uh, uh, bleh, for our CWO wars in Premier. And I'll be doing all of the Invite Wars uh, for Forbidden and Invite. So best of both worlds, not only for me, but of course for the subscribers. More content for you guys. Uh, we... I'm telling you guys, wait till we see some of these attacks in Forbidden. Uh, but yeah, I definitely want to clear the air and let all of the subscribers know what is going on. You know, I'm transparent. I always try to keep you guys filled in on what is going on. Okay, so speaking of which, I got to show you guys this attack. This is my Town Hall 9. I'm, gonna, I'm sorry, I'm going to pause it real quick. I, don't, I'm, I know I, don't, I do not want the video to get too long. But I have to sometimes... I'm not just going to be one of those YouTubers. I'm not going to be, uh, you know, just another YouTuber that just shows the attack strategies, shows you how to do an attack, but then doesn't put their money where their mouth is, does not do it for themselves. That's the difference. That's what I'm going to be showing you guys today. The, the What I'm talking about, I'll go ahead and link it right about now somewhere. Uh, for, if you guys missed the drag hoe video, this brand new attack strategy that we're seeing. Um, so I had to do it for myself. I had to do the drag hoe and that is exactly what we did. Wait till we see how this attack ends you guys, but Riggs doing the drag hoe for himself. 
Let's see if we can give this uh, a Riggs stamp of approval for approved Town 9 attacks that can crush bases. Um, and like I said, as you guys see, the title of the video is breaking all the rules that is exactly what we're doing over here in, in forbidden dragons down raging up we get king get queen break the defensive ring heroes came in over here at three o'clock they're pathing up look at this value and keep in mind guys this was a fresh hit the reason why we're breaking all the rules in forbidden with this attack is normally with a hog attack what do you do? You make a L-shaped path for your hogs. In Forbidden, we're doing an s shape. We're doing an S-shaped pathing. Uh, as you guys see, the hogs are kind of, they're coming through the top. They're going to kind of make their way through the core, swing around. So they're not really going clockwise. They're not really going counterclockwise around this base. They're kind of going right through the middle uh, in kind of, kind of an S-shape. Um, but yeah, that's why. And, and don't worry, I do have some more attacks to show you guys why Forbidden is breaking all the rules, you guys, and why they're going to be breaking all the rules in Invite this year. Um, so if you guys didn't notice, I know I sure did. Uh, we still have three more spells. we got three more spells to drop. All defense is down. And I was fortunate enough to have a Hound CC. But the difference is whether it was a damage CC, the Dragons would take care of I'm telling you guys, please try out this attack check out the video i already put it uh, up in the suggestion box for you guys up there check out this attack if you don't feel comfortable doing it in fc if, or excuse me if you don't feel comfortable doing it in war do it in fcs give it a try uh think outside the box sometimes with these attacks getting the triple swag doing the mickey mouse um but i had to get that attack out to you guys that attack is op and that was the first time i did it that I tried it for myself after making the video. So, hashtag, just saying. Okay, we're gonna jump up. That was our Town Hall 9 action. Shout out to Sheikah Dubai, shout out to me. Now we're gonna go ahead and get into some Town Hall 10 action. I got uh, four attacks to show you guys. Uh, we did have, what was it? Eight 10v10 triples this war. Art of War had five. I mean, Art of War still put up hell of a war but forbidden with two 11v11s. I won't be showing the 11v11 triples this war because they were in the uh, rant video, the hashtag just saying video. It was about two videos before this one. Um, so yeah, definitely definitely check that out if you have not already. Um, another reason why forbidden is breaking all the rules, we're seeing CB hog attacks, you know, CB hobos. We're seeing shattered hobos. Forbidden said, you know what? Fuck it, we're doing stoned. So they're bringing three golems. Uh, we got Logan bringing three golems to this attack. Wait until you see the value he gets from this kill squad. Rage down, pushing all the bowlers right into the core. Jump leading to both the wizard towers, both of the expos. Uh, and he went ahead and dropped down one heal spell uh, for the bowlers to keep them up as we're taking quite a bit of damage uh, from the wizard towers. So as you guys can see, he has completely made it not from the entry to the core and beyond to the core and beyond before he starts with his hogs he had what he had nine or ten of his own plus he had hogs in the cc uh and you'll see queen is going to be able to reach the enemy queen from over the wall right there um she's gonna go ahead and take that jump at the very last second there we go uh, enemy queen was locked on to a golem and the queen's also going to go ahead and get that expo Bring in three golems. Remember, guys, for those of you that forgot, golems with the update did get a huge buff as well as the hounds. But golems do a lot more tanking. Um, and that's why kill squads are so popular right now at Town Hall 10. He used one of the heals for the kill squad. The remaining two heals were, were for the hogs. And just like that, you guys, all defense is down. Nothing but cleanup. Started his wizards nice and early. A uh, huge shout out to Logan. I'm sorry. I still don't know probably three-fourths of the guys uh, in this clan. All the alts and everything. Uh, so bear with me. Uh, but I believe, Lo I believe Logan is Logan. Like, that's that's an actual main. Okay, we're going to jump up here. We're going to check out Thomas hitting number 18. Uh, I want to show you guys the most popular attacks right now at Town Hall 10. We are showing you guys some funky ways. Uh, you know how Forbidden's doing things a little bit differently uh, than most clans. But we have Thomas doing the ever popular uh, Queen Charge Mass Hog Attack. Anything 
anything with hogs right now is going to be powerful at Town Hall 10. Uh, but we're seeing a lot of kill squads, but we're also seeing a lot of queen charges. Uh, that's what Thomas is doing on this attack right here. Really cheap funnel, just a single wizard. Uh, and uh, Yeah, just a single wizard to help push that queen where he wants her to go, which is down. Goes in, drops one rage spell. Notice how he kind of shifts the rage. He didn't drop the rage right on top of the healers and the queen. He kind of shifted it. Uh, trying to drain every ounce of value, um, not only from your troops, but also from your spells, kind of shifting that raid spell over uh, because she was going to be heading left. Next raid spell is down, and she catches the tail end, just the tail end of that Inferno Tower Beam, uh, trying to stay out of range, and there she goes. She takes two steps up, uh, gets out of that Inferno Tower range like so, because uh, she did see that Wizard Tower. And we have a little... Uh, we have a little Kiwi walk, uh, again, just to help out the Queen, because there are a couple of those defenses, like the Cannon and the Archer Tower and the Tessa that the Queen cannot reach. Um, and one healer does eat a Seeking Air Mine, but it's okay. She's only taking uh, heat from one defense right now, which is that Expo next to the Queen Altar. Uh, starts his hogs nice and early, goes and drops down one more Raid spell. He did bring three of them for his Queen, only bringing two heal spells for his hogs. So he needed to get a lot of value out of that queen. Uh, goes in, drops down poison, not only to capture the ground skellies, but also the damage coming from enemy BK because he will rock a hog's world. So here we go. Uh, last heal spell is down, covering the bomb tower and also covering that giant bomb that was just outside the wall. King still chasing the hogs. Uh, but right here, look at this beautiful split he gets from his hogs. Queen is down. She ate it to the Inferno Tower, the single shot Inferno Tower. But this, this healer, that one healer was able to heal up those hogs just enough to get through these defenses. He already used his poison uh, for the enemy BK, but he had plenty of hogs to get through this, those ground skellies. That's going to be a three star for Thomas. Huge shout to him. We'll go ahead and show you guys two more uh, 10v10s. We'll jump up. What do I have written down here? Number 16. Uh, wanted to show you guys uh, this attack right here. Another reason why Forbidden is doing things a little bit differently. I got two examples showing you guys on this one. We have Hamidan. Hamidan JSE getting a 10v10 six pack this war. So we'll be showing you guys one of his attacks. Um, we did know that there was a hound that was going to be in the CC. So went ahead and sued his queen to help with the funnel and take out those two defenses from over the wall. The reason why Forbidden is doing it differently where it'd be myself or, or most other people would be bringing a kill squad with this attack. Forbidden, they don't do kill squads. They don't do golem kill squads. Forbidden doing it with a king and only bowlers. Look at the value. Completely shredded the entire three o'clock section of this base. Bring it, and because where he didn't bring a golem, just went ahead and had king tank with a couple giants and eight bowlers raging them up only using wall breakers, bringing four heal spells for the hogs. So not only does he have an extra heal spell, because he didn't bring a jump spell for the kill squad, he's able to bring six more hogs because he didn't bring a golem. Uh, hopefully you guys followed all that. Uh, but this is why they have so much success in this clan. They're thinking outside the box. They're doing things a little bit differently than most other clans. And just like so, you already know, plenty of hogs left to get through uh, that Tesla right there. Getting it done. Hamidan JSC, he had his other attack was, uh, I believe it was Sui Hero Lalo. Or a, some form of Lalo. Uh, but I want to show you guys that ground attack. Doing it a little bit differently. Breaking the rules. Absolutely loved it. Shout out to Hamidan uh, JSE. Now we're going to go ahead and jump up. We're going to show you guys one more 10v10. Now we're getting into the meat and potatoes. These are the Town Hall 10s um, that are 100% maxed. So, or AKA tier 3s, AKA 90k. If that's, yeah, that's still a thing. Yeah, 90k. There it is right there. Okay, same thing like we saw in the other attack. I had to show you guys another example. That was a hog attack without using a kill squad. Uh, or using the a king instead of a golem uh, with the bowlers. This one we have Cherry, uh, Cherio, uh, doing the same thing, a same similar kill squad. The difference is this is with Lalo. Switch it up. Look at this, guys. Two giants. Look at what this kill squad gets without a golem. Dropping down two giants, tanking for the king and for the queen. 
bringing, I, I didn't even see how many, maybe five, maybe six, maybe seven bowlers. A nice leading rage right in there. Look at what he's going to get. Goes in and breaks down the wall uh, as he did have those wall breakers raged up. And look at what the bowlers did. Look at what the, look at the value that the heroes got. Uh, we're at 25% already. I'm even going to pause it because this was just so incredible. Look at this. There is nothing left in this entire section of the base. And that was only with his heroes and just a few bowlers under rage. Pops queen ability. He is not done. Gets the archer tower. Gets the expo, you guys. We're going to have Lalo starting up here at the top. Look at the pathing for this Lalo. I mean, just textbook perfection right here dropping down four groups of loons uh we do have five haste one rage and one heal spell for those of you keeping track at home uh what we're bringing for the spells here and look at the clump of these loons that are all going to meet up wait till you guys see this drops down another haste spell as he does have more loons that came in at nine o'clock followed up by another hay spell to get through the archer tower and the expo here comes the raid spell kind of overlapping with the hay spell Followed up by the heel where he catches all those loons as we were going to be ending on two wizard towers, a Tesla and an archer tower and a red bomb. Look at this, guys. Look at how many freaking loons are still up. Could not believe it. Uh, I gotta, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely, I gotta try that on my 10. I don't know about you guys, but I, I'm gonna, I'm definitely gonna try that. I'm gonna try to drop the golem, see what we can do with just king, queen, uh, anywhere from four to eight wall breakers and a raid spell literally carved out an, an, a, a quarter of that base um, and it frees up that much more camp space where you can bring things uh, to take care of the back end. All right, guys, we got one more attack to get through. Before we wrap it up, we got Danny Mate. Uh, as we do know, um, we're seeing a lot of bowler smash right now at Town Hall 11 or for 10 v 11 for good reason it is completely wrecking bases uh but danny mate and i remember he was using valks uh back in premiere uh again when i was uh following forbidden through premiere um and for those of you that forgot yes they were crown champions in uh, cwl premiere season three uh but yeah he's still bringing valks sticking to his guns uh, like i said bowler smash is very popular but that doesn't mean other attack strategies um, aren't going to do just as well, if not better. We'll see how far Danny Mate gets inside of this base. He started Queen up at 11, just a cheap funnel with that wizard. His funnel wizard is still alive, of course. Uh, so here we go. Gollum coming down. He's going to be punching a wall uh, where he does have six wall breakers. Went ahead and broke uh, the tip right there at 9 o'clock. Uh, once that was down, went ahead and sent in more wall breakers. Uh, to go ahead and get the other wall pop. There it goes. Goes in, drops down a rage spell for both of his heroes, for the healers, uh, for the bowlers. And what he's trying to do is he's trying to carve out, uh, just like you'd funnel any other troop, he's trying to set a nice funnel uh, for these nine Valkyries for the Valk dive portion of the attack where they're going to be diving into the town hall or, or in hopes to get the town hall. Healers peeled off from the queen uh, start doing a king walk. Uh, goes ahead and pops ability. Still getting some value as we see the the inferno towers were or this inferno tower down at the bottom was on multi target as opposed to single target. So he actually got some more value out of um, his king right there. So here we go. Dro Notice he dropped down one Valkyrie, one little old Valkyrie. There she goes right there, coupled with her her uh, bowler and a wizard down there. Knows how patient he's being, guys. There's only a wizard tower up here. Being nice and patient. Uh, we see a lot of people, pfft, one finger drop, all their Valks. They all go shopping, as we know women like to do. Uh, but he makes sure that camp goes down before he drops his Valkyries. And here the flood comes. Uh, here comes the redheads right here, you guys. Uh, jump spell down. Rage spell down. That means the town hall is down. He's at 56%. Uh, I believe this is going to end at 57%. Just House of Valkyrie, I don't think he gets anything else. We'll go ahead and times this out uh, before. Nope, Valkyrie eats shit and dies. Um, but yeah, huge shout out to Danny, mate. Still wrecking it, uh, 10 v 11. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully I cleared up a lot of questions. Um, I got flooded. I got flooded with the DMs, mainly of those two questions. Yes, I'm still making videos. Um, 
so, so just to clear that up, the, the channel's not dead. We're still making videos and we're still having a lot of fun doing it. Uh, yes, I am still in Forge from Steel with my main account. No, I have not left. Yes, my Town Hall 9 is in Forbidden and we are very excited for CWL invite is going to be completely lit we got premiere on this channel we got invite on this channel uh keep it coming guys keep it coming with the dms for any unique attacks you guys have i definitely want to uh, remind you guys of that any 9v10s any non-meta attacks unique attacks you don't see every day some of my favorite content that i upload onto this channel is that hopefully you guys liked the video hopefully it was informative forbidden breaking all the rules doing things a little bit differently if you guys liked it make sure you hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you have not already as always this is Riggs from clashing ffs and i'll see you in the very next video